Sally Vancura, and welcome again to In the American Kitchen, a show where local cooks give us their recipes and a little story. But this time we have some recurring guests. We are with Kate and John Hall. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us. Now, the last one, you made fish. You made yeah. salmon and... Ceviche, whitefish yes. ceviche. Yes, and I've had a lot of compliments on that, and you had a lot of hits on our YouTube, too. Nice. So that's why we had to come back and show us fish. Now, first, Kate is the director of our library, New Lenox Library, and John is a fishmonger, one mm -hmm. of our local stores, and being in the Midwest, I don't know much about fish. So what did you bring? I brought sea scallops, uh, dry sea scallops. And why I say dry is that means no chemicals. When you're talking dry, that's pretty much all that means. So if you see wet, dry sea scallops, the wet ones will be treated a lot of times with something so that they'll last a little longer. I don't know. I don't know what that stuff is, preservatives and everything you hear about that. I just stay with a dry sea scallop. That means that there are no chemicals. There are also bays and divers and a lot of different kinds, but, but I like a dry sea mean scallop. that they're actually dry. Right. Like they're actually quite moist. Right. And delicious. And delicious. But when you're ordering them from Yeah. When the you counter, want to go to the store to buy them, you're yeah. going to see a lot of different options. Right. Stuff basically you'll see most of the time sea scallops, bay scallops, frozen or fresh. Scallops do freeze pretty well. This is actually a previously frozen scallop. Um, bays are small, they're tender, they take on the flavor of what you cook with them, kind of like lobster and a lot of other shellfish do. These are bigger, a little sweeter, a little softer texture, everything that's good about them, just times 10. Okay. Sea scallops are fantastic. And they're super easy. Now John is the cook in the family. I like easy, so I'm all about the easy. So he showed me how to do scallops and I have been sold ever since and I think that's what we're going to show you and the viewers to do how to do today. Well, I know yeah. when we mentioned scallops to our crew, everybody wanted to volunteer because we're <laughs> ready to eat some scallops. So if you could show us how easy this recipe oh, is. Oh, absolutely. Well, we are cooking scallops today. Sea scallops, bigger, dry, no chemicals. When you look at one of these guys, you're going to see something on here. It's got a foot, which is, if we've got that, this guy right here, I take them off for you. Sometimes your seafood vendor will take them off. Sometimes they won't. If you want them off, just ask. But they actually taste all right. That's it. I'm going to pick out three of these guys to cook up. Show you guys this guy set. So what you're looking for with these is good and clear. These guys are all the white ones. If you see any that are a little bit of a yellow color, little uh, gender information, those are the females. They're sweeter, and according to my wife, a little bit smarter than the male scallops. However, <laughs> these are gonna be very, very good. We've got those set up and ready to go. I'll set them aside right there with my lime. I've got all my ingredients, really, for scallops. What I'm doing here is a ginger lime butter. Ginger lime butter would make cardboard taste good. You combine it with scallops, you've got something so good, they'll probably make it illegal someday. Super easy, super fast to cook. Within about eight minutes from now, you're gonna see me tasting one of these scallops with a really happy expression on my face. Starting out, step one is just get your pan hot, which we've already done. Then you put a little bit of butter in there. I'll just take it from here. Sorry about using my hands. But they are clean. Is that melting that up? I'm gonna adjust this temp down a little bit. You will hear a lot of recipes for scallops where they want you to really go kind of crazy with really, really hot, hot not using clarified butter, so this could splatter an awful lot, so I'm not gonna go quite as hot as you might see. Some other folks do, but if you look at that, oh, can you smell that? Yeah. The ginger and that lime. The butter smells wonderful. Yeah. Is there a special smell you should look for with the scallops, or it shouldn't really smell? Just shouldn't smell. Okay, so that's yeah. the only thing we should really look for. All right, got the good sizzle going. In go the scallops. Watch yourself though. I'm going to turn down that heat a little bit so I'm not going to get cooked with the scallops. Those three on there. This spot right down here is what you really want to watch. You're going to see some brown on the bottom of there. This is the key to cooking scallops. That's why it's so fast. 
and it's one of the reasons they're so delicious. The natural sugars in there are coming out. You see that brown around the bottom? Just a little bit more of that and you flip them. But as you can tell, it does not take much time at all. Now I saw that you got this from your store, but how would we put this together? Just butter uh, and... Get some, yeah, just get some, uh, a good butter okay. that you like. Melt that slowly. And then while you're doing it, pick out your ingredients. This is ginger and lime. Dice that up, mix that up. Takes maybe 10 minutes to whip up something like that. And the nice thing about making a butter like this is you can use it with the scallops. You can also use it on a good piece of sourdough bread or whatever you want too. A nice infused butter or flavored butter. It's a great cooking tool. Okay. Particularly with seafood, I find. Now, if you're looking at these, you can kind of see it right now. We got a little bit of that brown coming up on the bottom. Sugars are out. I'm going to flip it. There we go. As you see, that's a great example of not enough. <laughs> We're going to wait. Okay, well, we'll give this a couple minutes to cook and we'll be right with you. All right. There we go. Oh, is that what's good? You see that on the top? Yes. Yes. That's what you're looking for. That means you flipped it at the right time. Oh, look at that. And such an upscale product, really. And look how simple. Yeah, what really was it? easy. What was it? Heat it up nice and hot. Not too hot, right? Right. Just till it sizzled. Add in any kind of flavored butter. Mm -hmm. And a couple of minutes. Yeah, it's really, really fast. And I say I'm doing this at probably a little lower temperature than you'll see recommended a lot of times. If you're using a clarified butter or canola oil to put a really quick sear on this, these can be even faster. Okay, and what a treat for a dinner for... Oh, yeah. Yeah, a yeah. nice date dinner for It's a way to have a, a five-star meal without yeah. having to tip a bell, you know, <laughs> anybody for the car, the waiter, the bartender. Nope, you do this. I recommend... Buy a couple extra so you can eat one in the kitchen. Before well, you're making you it, share of with course. Everybody else. Yep. <laughs> but the trick is too to find a good fishmonger like right. yourself well, that will make uh, make sure you have fresh. Because if you don't have good product to begin with, it's not going to give you a flavor like this. Right. With seafood, that is absolutely key. The nose knows. If you smell something. Ask your vendor about it. There are a couple kinds of seafood where you might have a little bit of odor. Other than those, you don't want to smell anything. It should look fresh. It should be firm. You can tell quality with your eyes. Um, it's almost instinctive. If you look at it and it looks good and it triggers your appetite, that's what you want to get. Okay. Now you're going to even make a one plate meal, right? Yeah. Now our scallops are getting set here. They are really done at this point. We want to serve them. Get set, but you know, we got to have a side with this. Since we've got the butter, figure we'll just toss in some green beans. That's how I like to cook less dishes. <laughs> less dishes, a little more speed. And a nice color. Yeah, you combine for a nice plate. You add a little uh, lime to this on a plate for a garnish, and you've got something that looks really, really nice, super fast, tastes phenomenal. Okay. And it's under 15 minutes. Well, let's get a plate and make this look pretty. And the best part, I get the taste. Sounds good. Okay, thanks, John. Right, you're welcome. We brought Caden for our favorite part of the show. So, the tasting. Yes, yes. John, again, this was so simple using the flavored butter, you didn't need to add salt and pepper, right? Right, so easy husbands can do it. <laughs> yeah, all the flavors in the butter and um, really easy. Just sauteed the green beans up in that. A little squeeze of the lime on there and enjoy. Oh, and he even squeezes the lime, the lime for us. us, yes. Number one thing with scallops, eat them right away after you cook them. They're better hot. Mmm. Unbelievable, John. Oh, thank you. Go ahead. You're not gonna... Oh, yeah. He was trying to be well, a gentlemanly. <laughs> well, worry if he doesn't eat what he's cooking. I know, right? <laughs> See you later, I'm gonna go wolf these down. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a nice platter here with all the colors, which is perfect. But 
We had to do one thing like we did with the other show, being that Kate's, Kate is our librarian. Tell us about some books. <laughs> well, I, you know, I always have to add in the book component. Um, and so I brought just a couple of books that we have at the library. So if some, any of them interest you, you can check them out at the library. The first one, I know we're talking about scallops, but really I'm fascinated by anything that is living in the water that you can eat. So another one is The Secrets of Lobster. And uh, this one is very funny. Humorous, insightful. They actually look at how lobsters live and look at how we can eat them and why they're so delicious. Now, if you want a little bit more serious look at fish and what's happening with fish and our consumption of fish, we have The End of the Line, which um, talks about how, for instance, Chilean sea bass is on the brink of extinction and how um, there are many countries that are overfishing their waters and what we, as consumers of fish, can do to help mitigate these issues. That's interesting. Buy sustainable seafood. Yes. And buy ask your fishmonger seafood. what they do to ensure that they are operating in a sustainable way. And if they know the business and know what they're doing, they should be able to answer that question pretty clearly, pretty easily. And we actually have, um, I brought a book with me on ocean-friendly cuisine that talks about how you can be more sustainable with the seafood that you're purchasing and it has some pretty delicious recipes that I'm hoping John will make for me. But if you're like me and you're not a very good cook or you don't like going to a big hassle, we also have some, we have 100 classic fish and shellfish recipes, which does have um, a similar recipe to what we did today. So if you didn't get everything down, you can come in and check this out and um, try some other seafood recipes. So we have this and of course, Many, many more books on all the different ways you can eat the yummy and delicious things that live in the water. Well, you know what, John? I like it simple like this. I love the butter because it had different flavor to it. And depending on how we cook, we could change the flavors for our family. Right. And I was always, I've never made scallops before because at a price and you think, but it's, you didn't want to ruin it at that price you're paying. Right. But if you have, it's a nice portion. If you're cooking it this simply, it it is cost effective. Oh yeah. It's a perfect it meal to sit and read with a good book. And a glass of wine. And a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you brought up the books, I had to bring in the wine. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect complement to each other with the scallops. Well, okay. thank you again for coming and hopefully we could get you again for more fish uh, recipes. Yeah. Anytime. Be because fish is, like I said, it's something we just don't do enough at home. And if we make it this simple, it's something mm -hmm. nice to introduce our family to. Easier than cooking a frozen pizza. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. We said that with the last show. I yeah. remember right. that. Well, thank you again for joining us. You're welcome. And if you would like to be a guest on Indie American Kitchen, just call the station. Also, we have on YouTube to see all our different um, episodes. Please watch. Thank you again.